Hello, Kent Beck here at uh, Gusto San Francisco headquarters. And I'm Kelly Sutton. And we're talking about the desirable properties of tests and whether or not you want to pay for them. Today's uh, number uh, five out of 12, number right? Number five, yep. Uh, and we're going to talk about the speed of tests. So there are lots of ways of writing tests. Some of them are much slower than others. Yep. Some of them are faster. Yep. So why do we want tests to be fast? Why would we ever care about that? Well, you, you made a good point about monkey brains. Yeah. Um, so uh, when we're talking about like test speed, I think a lot of folks seem to think that we're talking about like a certain level of privilege, right? Like, oh, I deserve my test to be fast, or you don't deserve your test to be that fast, uh, or who, who am I to ask for fast tests? Yeah, which seems like a bizarre thing. We're, I pay for the electricity that goes into this computer. Yeah. Like, it should be working on my behalf. Yeah, these computers should be working for us. We're not, you know, slaves to the machine. Yeah, but I do also hear that, well, the luxury of fast tests. Yeah. yeah. Well, what if it wasn't a luxury? Yeah. Because it seems like there are there's some breaking points. Like, if, if, uh, if tests run in under a second, mm. you just run them all the time. Exactly, exactly. And I think... Like that second is like really important because that's where I think our lizard brain or our monkey brain flips on or off, right? So okay. something less than a second is a much different, our brain treats it much differently than uh, something that takes more than a second or 10 seconds or a minute. Right. 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 So when, when we're talking about fast tests, we're not talking about like the luxury of fast tests. We're just trying to fight like our id, our, our lizard brain. Yeah, yeah or, uh, or or to put it more positively, yeah. we're trying to remain in flow. Yes, exactly, exactly. That's a very San Francisco way to put that. Yeah, I, okay, I, I dig it. <laughs> oh, oh, so good, <laughs> so good. So you, you came up with a, yeah. a quick uh, illustration of this uh, one second versus ten yeah. second. Yeah, like what is what is fast? Right? So these are the tests from the the previous videos. Yep, our little hourly wage calculator here. Got and it. We've got a little test suite. Uh, hasn't changed from last week. Let's see how fast they run. Okay. But um, okay, so that's you can't even notice it. Yeah. Y you could have this run on every save. Yeah. You could have it run between keystrokes oh, wow. potentially. So okay, so slow it down to ten seconds, and okay. we'll see. You know, the the luxury of uh, fast tests. Right. Okay. All right. So, so let's uh, let's run these again. Okay. I just added a sleep statement. Okay. I feel like practicing guitar now or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about what do I need to get from the grocery store on the way home. Exactly. I'm thinking about, oh, did I remember uh, to pay uh, rent? Uh, oh, uh, sorry. Uh, oh. <laughs> exactly. And we're completely out of flow. Yeah. So yeah. there's a big difference between tests that run in a second, yeah. tests that run in 10 seconds, mm -hmm. tests that run in a minute, yeah. tests that run in 10 minutes, yeah. and then longer than that. Mm. Uh, we don't really care. Yeah. So uh, something I've noticed, uh, I always want my test to give me the quickest possible feedback. Yeah. And I'm willing to pay a fair amount to get that. Mm. Um, what I've noticed about test runners in general, mm. the way they're built now is oftentimes they'll do a substantial amount of work to get started. Yeah. And that first test feedback might take 10 seconds or 20 seconds and then the tests will run lickety split because we've farmed them out to yeah. thousands of computers we've loaded all the files yeah. right and so what i'd like to suggest is mm -hmm. we've we've tilted mm -hmm. test runners towards throughput how many mm -hmm. tests they can run per minute and away from the latency i would like to see if these tests are going to fail yeah. i'd like to see that first failing test as quickly as possible. So how would we write tests differently? Mm. How would test frameworks differ? How would test runners differ? Mm. How would the integrations with IDEs differ? If we expected that if a test is gonna fail, we're gonna see it in the first second. Yeah, so it's like, uh, it's probabilistic. It's like telling us like, hey, things are probably okay, probably okay, probably okay, not okay. Mm. Right, yeah. right, and, and yeah. if I can get that not okay as quickly as possible, Mm -hmm. then I can stay in flow. Mm -hmm. My energy is continually directed towards our uh, shared uh, goal and so mm -hmm. on and so forth. I like that. Okay, cool. Someone should build that. This... <sighs> Another we, should, project. we should build that. We should. Yeah. We should, but we're not going to do it on video. Well, maybe we will. Yeah, maybe we will. Okay. 
Uh, and uh, that's the end of Tests Should Run Quickly. Uh, in the next episode, we're, we're going to talk about tests should run deterministically. We should get the same answers every time. There you go.